Hey what's going on guys, my name's Nathan and welcome back to the Snack Saloon. Today's video is going to be kind of different, I'm actually going to be going into the kitchen for this one. Now I have some of this cot flavoured soup, this is pretty infamous because of the name. But this is from Jamaica, it's by Grace, which is a fairly popular brand. I did some, what did I do by Grace? I did something by Grace in my Jamaica video. I think it was those biscuits actually. But this seems to be a fairly popular brand, they make hot sauce, obviously soup, they make quite a few things. It says authentic Jamaican down here in the corner. And basically the direction on this say to mix the contents of the packet with two cups of cold water, which two cups doesn't seem like much, but we'll see about that. And then you just bring it to a boil and let it simmer for seven to ten minutes, stirring occasionally. So you're basically just dumping this mixture into a into a pot of water and then boiling it. So it should be straightforward. I've actually had this packet for a long time. This was like the first thing I ever bought for this channel, like way before I even made the first video. But the expiration date says February. 2017 so it's still in date. I just wanted to get it out of the way because I've been saying like week in week out oh I'm gonna do the cock soup this week but I never get around to doing it so I'm finally doing it. So I guess it's about time to go fill our little pot of water and get this started. Okay so I've got our water here now I've got the soup packet as you can see there's quite a lot of it in there. This is just two cups that I've put in here by the way and there's a really strong smell of sort of like the same smell you'd get with chicken soup but there is no actual meat in this from what I can see in the ingredients so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. It says pour it into the cold water first so there we go. That's all we're in there and then we'll just start this up. Now we're just going to wait for it to boil and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Okay this thing is now starting to boil. I keep stirring it a little bit. I'll be turning this off now soon and just letting it sit for a little bit. It says let it sit for about 10, 13 minutes, so if I just turn this down, just keep stirring it for a few more minutes and then we'll, we'll be pouring it into our bowl and giving it a try. Okay, so here's the final soup. Obviously I let it simmer for a few minutes in the bowl before, before pouring it out, but as you can see there's like some, there must have like tiny pieces of spaghetti or noodles in there. It does smell fairly good, it has like a bit of a spice to it as well, so I'm expecting this to be a little bit spicy, probably not too much, but overall it does it does smell and look very good, so I'm going to go ahead and get sat back down and we'll give this a try. Okay, so hopefully that camera work and lighting wasn't too shabby there, that's the first time I've ever really recorded in the kitchen. Obviously I have my bowl of soup here, I can't really show it, but you saw, you saw it there just a minute ago. It is pretty full to the brim. And like I say, it does have these kind of like noodles in there, so that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get some of the, obviously the soup and the noodles. And I'm still getting the, I'm still getting the sort of spice smell to it, so that's what, I'm presuming it's going to have some sort of kick to it, put it that way. I've got some here on a spoon, so let's give this a try. Mmm. That's actually really good, I was not expecting that at all. The way I can describe it is, it does have a slight taste of like regular chicken soup. Like I said, there's no chicken in here at all, so there's, I don't know where that's coming from. Somehow they've mixed, obviously, a few things together to get that taste. But after the, the chicken taste, there's like a small cake, like I was expecting, like a spice to it. Try a little bit more of this. I'm gonna say this is probably one of my favorite soups now. The spice at the end is is fairly hot, but it's not ridiculous. Like if you if you don't like hot things, you probably would still like this. I mean, there is obviously a burn in your throat when you when it's going down, but it's not ridiculous. I think if you ate the whole bowl of this, you probably would leave you with a fiery taste in your mouth. But like I said, this is really good. I can imagine this being good if you actually did buy some noodles like separately and put them in there, or maybe, maybe even rice. Rice would probably be good in this. So I'm giving this cock soup a huge thumbs up. I got this purely because of the name cock soup, obviously. And because it was Jamaican. I, like I said, I got this before I got all that Jamaican stuff, so this was like the first Jamaican thing I ever bought, and I'm really impressed with this. I do know there's a few Jamaican things in the UK as well, so when I go over there next month, I'll probably try and get some more Jamaican things. Everything I've tried from Jamaica has been really good, whether it be like biscuits or biscuits or cookies. The drinks, the Irish moss was a bit of an acquired taste, but it wasn't as bad as I've heard a lot of people say it was. But the, the other drinks that I had were amazing, like that, that cola one. That was, that was probably the best cola I've ever had. So overall impressions of Jamaica is that they have amazing food. So hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. Like I said, I tried to spice it up a little bit by putting some kitchen, kitchen scenes in there. Don't know how well it turned out. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. I did just have one light in there, so it wasn't the best. I should have had two, because they were coming in at both sides. But 
I will do that. I'll fix that for next time. But please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see ya.